Hi, welcome to Pat's Backcountry Beverages. I'm Pat. Today we're going to guide you through our step-by-step -step demo of how to use your carbonator bottle. We recommend that you watch this video from start to finish to get an overview of the process, then watch it a second time when you're ready to follow along with your carbonator. Feel free to hit pause whenever you need to, and let's get started. Make sure you've got your ABCs ready to go. A for activator, B for beverage concentrate, and C for carbonator. You'll also want to make sure that you've got a supply of cold water on hand. I'm going to grab a bottle of chilled water from the refrigerator here. Of course, if you're in the back country, you want to make sure that you filter this water first or sterilized it so that it's safe to drink. The carbonation sequence is broken into three basic steps. Load, mix, and carbonate. So we're going to load the carbonator with activator powder and water. Take our water, add at least six ounces of water to the water bottle, attach the cap, flip it upside down, unlock the lever, and cycle the lever at least three times. You can see there I've got it filled with water. We're going to relock the lever in place and remove the cap. So the cap is now loaded with water. So next we'll load the reaction cup with activator powder. So take the packet of activator, give it a quick shake, get all the powder to the bottom, tear it open, fold it in half, and dump it into the reaction cup. We're going to stir the powders together by folding the empty packet into a stirring stick. And let's mix those together. Okay. We'll attach the reaction cup to the cap by threading it on until it comes to a firm stop. So there you go. The cap is now locked and loaded with both water and activator powder. The next step is to mix our beverage. I'm making a ginger trail, so we'll tear open the packet, add it to our bottle. We'll add more cold water to the bottle, filling it up to the 16 ounce mark. Make sure you don't go past the maximum fill volume line when you do this. We'll attach our cap onto the bottle, nice and snug. And there you go. Step two, mixing our beverage is now complete. All right, so it's time to carbonate our beverage. These next several steps need to be timed appropriately. So before you proceed, be sure you're comfortable with them. Here we go. Grab the carbonator with your right hand, index finger through the carabiner loop. We're going to unlock the lever and cycle it up and down three times to start the effervescent reaction. Hold the lever down for two seconds and shake. Lift the lever. Hold it down for two seconds. Shake. Lift the lever. We're going to repeat this process of holding the lever down and shaking, followed by lifting the lever, for about one minute. Okay, that's been about a minute and our drink is now carbonated. But before we enjoy it, we need to just set it down and let it rest for a minute. Because right now it's just like any other carbonated beverage. You wouldn't want to shake it up and then open it right away. Okay, so we've let it rest for a minute now. So let's lock the lever down, crack it open slowly, pausing as we go to allow the pressure to escape, remove the cap completely, and enjoy our freshly carbonated beverage. Cheers! To clean the carbonator after each use, simply unlock and lift the lever to release the last of the pressure. Remove the reaction cup and empty it. Rinse all the parts with water. And then cycle some water through the cap. Make sure you leave the cap empty.
and there you are. You're good to go. For detailed information regarding each of the steps I just demoed, please consult the instruction manual that came with your carbonator. On behalf of all of us here at Pat's Backcountry Beverages, thank you and drink resourcefully.